Hi, so this morning I'm working on an iPhone 6 that won't come on. This was actually sent here by, uh, actually in the long haul, referred here by another shop as a board related problem. Um, they suspect it's the TriStar IC board related charging issue. So I'm going to be troubleshooting this today, see what I can figure out. Um, the only thing I have done, I plugged in a charger just briefly and I did get the Hope that wasn't supposed to go in the iPad I just did. Um, I did just, I, I get a battery icon um, that shows that it's charging. So um, what I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to check the battery line and see what we've got as far as voltage, whether or not the voltage is rising and try to narrow down whether or not this is an actual chip defect. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to look today. I'm doing a little bit of a different camera arrangement. I will do my best to keep this in view of the camera. Um, let me make this one my main one. I should be able to manual focus it and keep from driving you guys crazy. Yes, we can manually focus. All right. It has been absolute madness around this shop trying to keep up. So um, routine jobs have been taken priority. I don't know if you can see, this is how I normally open these dudes. Can't really keep it in front of that camera though, because like, I got the camera sitting where I'm going to need it for a board repair and not for opening the phone. So, um, I am going to go ahead and disconnect battery. All right, and I will also remove the screen. Battery disconnected. I keep looking over at the screen to see how my focus is. I got this little Logitech camera set on manual focus and it looks like it's not doing too bad as long as I manual focus it. So I'll do my best to keep it in focus. Um, like I've said in previous videos, the main focus on this YouTube channel is going to be um, board repair. So um, I really don't plan on doing too many disconnect the screen videos. So in most cases my main camera that's going to go on top of my work is going to be geared toward a, a logic board repair. So I am going to take some measurements on this one. Um, actually going to go ahead and reconnect the battery. And I'm not sure if I will be able to get this to show you where I'm taking my measurements or not. Maybe so. I sure will try. Very low lighting when I get it down this level. Okay, let's focus it up. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to check and see where the battery is at right now. My camera is actually casting a shadow over the test point that I need, which you can see what I'm doing there. Careful not to short it against the little grounded screw hole there. Okay, and I am at 3.19 volts. I'm going to go ahead and connect the charger. And you know what, for the sake of testing, I'm going to go ahead and slap a test screen on here. Disconnect battery. Hook up the screen. Reconnect battery. Okay. Now I'm going to plug in a regular old charger here. No bench power supply, no nothing. I'm just connecting a charger to the bottom of the phone. I think I'm going to add a USB voltmeter to the machine that I'm doing these recordings on so I can do like an on-screen measurement. It should be totally sweet. All right, am I blocking anything? Nope, okay. So I'm right at my battery line here. Now I'm at 3.52, 5.3, 3 3.54, 3 3.55. I do wonder how this came here as a board level repair. 
Um, like here, I've done nothing but connect a charger to this phone. I see the battery rising exactly like I, I, I expected I would see it. Um, I'm going to be giving this some time here to watch the battery charge because I'm sure in the hell not replacing TriStar IC right smack up against flash memory. If I don't have to, where are we at now? 3.65. I'm expecting this phone to turn on pretty soon. Now what it might do, it might actually come on and then just sit at a low percentage and then stop climbing. Um, there's a lot of things that you can get into um, with this. So let's see here. I might stop the video and give this thing some time to charge. We're still showing a battery icon. Can actually see that. Kind of cool with the camera right down on top of it. Well, I plan on starting a board repair video this morning. I've kind of got a, a feeling that this phone's going to actually boot up and run. Um, we'll find out. Let's go ahead and check battery voltage again. I'm going to adjust that camera. Maybe you'll be able to see a little more clearly what exactly it is that I'm checking. Okay. Well, that's especially tedious to do with that camera in the way because you don't want to short it. You don't want to short that battery line. Okay, maybe I accidentally bumped it. I'm actually showing a quarter volt right now. I might have accidentally shorted it. I'm going to have to move this uh, camera back so I can see it a little better. So we're going to go back, you know, more like here. I think you've seen where it was. I was taking my measurements. And let's see what we got right now. I'm used to coming in straight down so I don't accidentally short it. And we got a battery that's sitting at zero volts. I'm pretty sure I accidentally shorted it. Look at a charging battery icon. Now I'm going to come straight down on top of this test point so I don't accidentally short this battery again. Okay, we're at 3.73 volts. So I'm pretty sure what happened there, trying to get this video right, I had actually stuck my, my lead in at an angle and I had shorted it either against this screw hole here or against the, uh, the shielding on the antenna connector. So... Okay, as always with these kinds of repairs, it's really, really difficult because the shop is busy. Where are we at? 3.87 volts. You know, one day I think I'll order some new probes for my voltmeter, but until then, my solder on straight pins and the voltmeter that I got whenever I was 16 for, no, 14 for Christmas. I got this voltmeter when I was 14 years old for Christmas. It's the voltmeter I've used my whole entire life. The only thing I had to do differently for the sake of micro repair is solder these pins on here. And I thought I was doing like a, a really shoddy, dirty thing and thought I was going to be the only one on the face of the planet that did that. And then I bumped into Jessica Jones videos. <laughs> I'm like, hey, look, she soldered pins on there. Cool. I think since then she's changed, and I probably will too one day. But. All right, voltage reading. I'm at 3.89 volts. Well, minus 3.89 because I got my lead switched around. Whatever. Okay, do we have power yet? 
Nope, but I suspect any minute this phone is going to power on because our battery level is climbing very well. Still not entirely convinced that this is a board problem. Three point nine one volts. It's actually climbing pretty quick. This phone should power on any minute. I'm gonna quit taking my checks because I'm pretty confident this sucker is gonna power on. So here we got our battery charging centered up on the screen. I bet you you're gonna see that turn to an Apple logo any minute. I'm probably gonna clip the part of the video where I'm just sitting here waiting on an Apple logo. But as long as I see that voltage rising like that, I'm not going to jump to any conclusions that say this phone's not working. Apple logo, we're booting. I don't know, maybe it, maybe it boot loops or something. Looks like a normal boot to me. If there's uh, anything incriminating that will identify my customer that pops up on the screen, I have to clip that part of the video out. Alright, this phone booted. Um, there's a little section that I have to cut out because it shows a picture of the people's kids. And can we see a battery percentage? Let me switch. Alright, we're at 2%. And the battery level is actually going down. So I think I actually do have something to troubleshoot on this phone. Yeah, we'll give it a minute and see if the printer's percentage is going to go up. Actually, I'm not... <laughs> I got too much shit to do today. I'm not waiting on this. What is our voltage right now? We are at 3.6 volts and this phone is struggling to stay alive, I'm sure. No, our battery level is not climbing, so um, we're not getting sufficient current. I'm going to go ahead and slide the power off. Okay. We're going to try a new dock connector. We're as close to a new dock connector as you can get. Okay, let's hook up our new dock connector. battery. I'm expecting the phone to boot whenever I plug in power. Okay, we get a battery charging thing again. The phone's booting. Okay. Now I'm going to watch the uh, battery power here. I should be monitoring current, but I can kind of get a gut feeling on current by what the voltage is doing. So we're at 3.8 volts and the phone is booting. We're right now at 3.7 volts. Three point eight. Now, before my original measurement, I was at three point six volts after the phone booted. Before the phone booted, the voltage was climbing, and with the voltage climbing, I know that it's charging. We're now at three percent on what the phone says. I got to do something about my power supply set up here. It's kind of embarrassing. Three point eight five.
3.86. So we've got a pretty consistent climb here on voltage level. Um, I'm still not convinced I've got a board related issue here. TriStar on iPhone 6 kind of sucks a little bit. They put that gummy overfill over it. It's not too bad, but it's still not a repair I want to do if it's not going to fix the problem. So. What are we looking at now? Because I need to get this out of the way. I'm anxious. 3.88. It does behave differently on my dot connector than it does on the dot connector that came in the phone. Okay, so far we're hanging around 3.88, so maybe this phone's fake charging. I kind of don't feel like it, though, because I'm getting plenty of heat here. Well, not like hot, hot, but I'm getting enough heat for me to think that the battery's charging. Okay, the percentage is now showing 5%. And the voltage is at, can you even see where I'm taking these measurements? Uh, you know what, if you're working on these things, you should know where the battery rail is by now. So, We're at 3.88, but we want to give this battery charger time to do its thing. A lot of activity on this phone too. It's pretty well keeping the screen powered on all the time because we do have an active phone here. It's got service. Yeah, and if it won't continue to climb on battery level, I'm still not entirely convinced it's TriStar. There's a lot of other stuff it can be, so. 6%. Now on the original dock connector, I wasn't getting squat. It wouldn't raise the battery level. So, well, it, it would raise the battery level when it was off, but not when it's on, which does behave like a TriStar defect. However, I have seen it be just the dock connector too. So I know the ultimate goal here is 3.89, we're getting ready to cross 3.9. Yeah, so it hung around, um, you know, it hung around at one level there for a while, and then it starts to climb again. So it's behaving like a typical battery charger, um, especially a lithium battery charger. So see what our percentage shows now that it took that next step. We are at 6%, so it could be slow charging. I don't know how long this video has been running. I'll probably go back and look and see how long it's actually charged. I should be timing it, but... I'm doing a video, so I'm not keeping track of all that crap. Nine one. Nine zero. Three point nine one three point nine two. So we are getting a really steady rise on battery voltage. I'd much rather it come in like flat dead when I plug in a charger and hook up a dock connector and it'd be flat dead when I plug in a charger because these types of problems suck. This is time consuming. We are now at seven. You know, we've traveled from 
zero percent to seven percent in the matter of I don't know what five or ten minutes here I don't know how long this video has been running so and that's with the power on I am definitely not convinced that we've got a board related issue here the same thing seems to be doing pretty good on my dock connector and we're hanging around 3.9 volts so so far this looks like a typical typical battery charger I don't see anything out of the ordinary here now we're at eight percent so um, hmm okay well I tried to make trying to make this channel about mainly board repairs and trying to open phones like as soon as I get them so you get a first-hand experience of where I start and where I finish um, this one here it looks like I'm gonna wind up stopping during troubleshooting because I, this is going to be a dot connector replacement. Um, I'm not planning on doing um, that level repairs on these videos. I think this uh, I'm really shooting toward more involved micro soldering and board level repairs. Um, this phone here is not going to make it out of the troubleshooting phase. I might go ahead and upload this anyway because it'll show how I've narrowed down whether or not we've got a chip level or a board level defect here or if we've just got a standard dot connector problem and we are it's like the voltage reached another threshold where the charge circuit in this phone is, is comfortable. It's, it's holding the voltage up. It's like it runs the voltage up and holds it there, and then it backs off a little bit and see how fast the battery level falls, and that's how it decides how much power to put forward. They're, they're pretty smart chargers. So um, if this thing has crossed the threshold where it's going ahead and taking another push, 3.9345, it's, you know, this is working. What's the percentage percentage showing right now? We're at 9%, 10%. This thing's kicking ass. This ain't a board repair video, folks. Sorry. This thing needs a dot connector. I'm going to get this phone fixed, move on about my day, because i got a ton of work to do. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.